Chris, uh, we have Pete Friedman with Central Track on the phone right now. You were on the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge. Tell us what Central Track is. Tell us what you were doing on the bridge tonight and what happened. Uh, CentralTrack.com is a alternative online publication for uh, young Dallasites. We cover the city at large, anything that is of interest to them. For all weekend long, we have been covering these protests uh, starting on Friday night and into tonight. Uh, and I'm, cur yeah, I'm currently on so the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge. Stuff in that backpack still, I can't have fall. And uh, yeah, just watching the police kind of corral people into dark buses uh, at the moment. Pete, what's been the difference tonight from what you've witnessed over the last three nights? Uh, well, uh, I will say that it started as a very peaceful protest at the Frank Crowley Court building. And then uh, the march went north on Riverfront and then uh, took a left to go west on the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge. It was a very peaceful, very uh, organized effort, in my estimation. Um, cops were kind of perched along the way, uh, warning people not to engage with them, and the crowds were uh, very okay with that and did not engage. Uh, once we, while following the uh, protesters, got onto the bridge, kind of at the apex of the arch. Uh, there was a full line of fully armored and riot gear police awaiting the march, uh, at which point there was some sort of smoke bomb fired uh, in the direction of the protester. We had multiple explosions, uh, and uh, there was smoke billowing across. I cannot confirm whether or not that was tear gas. Uh, I did not smell it, uh, and I did on Saturday, so uh, it was not the same. But. Uh, the protesters then kind of turned around, headed back uh, towards downtown Dallas. Uh, this is all along the eastbound lane. And then uh, there was a, a row of police then um, awaiting the protesters once they turned around. So they were fully cornered. Uh, some people were able to hop over the median, uh, which is where I am right now. Uh, but many were not. I'd say probably in total there was... Uh, around 500 people here, um, and that's where we're at at the moment. Yeah, we're watching these hundreds of people here. We've been watching them over the last several hours. I'm curious, Pete, what are police telling you right there on the scene? What are their instructions to you? Uh, they're telling us absolutely nothing. So they're giving us no instruction. They did, they did come and check for press credentials, uh, at which point they escorted the press uh, into this kind of staging area right under the... Um, exit sign to I-35 East North towards Denton. Um, and that is where I'm currently standing alongside some other reporters. So you're saying police yeah, there, have- there, 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 was, there was no, there was no, there was no, they have not told us what the charges are. A cop uh, kind of barked at us that the uh, charges were uh, obstructing a highway, um, but it, it is unclear. They, I, another officer told us it was breaking a curfew. Uh, I, I've seen some tweets, but it's been tough. We've been, live so it's been tough for us to follow the other reports uh but as far as on the ground situation uh very little information has been shared we did talk to some of the people who were uh detained and they were not given much information either well what did they tell you uh, as far as being detained and, and as far as the night has evolved uh they again they weren't given much information and you know the the whole thing was pretty peaceful they, the cops are using zip ties to uh, cuff these people. Uh, they're currently lined up and heading towards the dark. But yeah, there, there's very little information at the moment being shared, uh, I think, from the police to either the press or uh, those who've been arrested. All right, and real quickly, as we wrap up, Pete, uh, the demonstrators, uh, w did they appear angry, upset, okay with the situation? Absolutely not. Uh, the, uh, throughout, this was a very peaceful protest. I think people were uh, a little aghast at the uh, very large show of force. I think at this moment right now, there's about a one-to-one -one police to protester ratio. I mean, this is a this this place is teeming with police officers from various law enforcement agencies. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the protesters right now they look okay. Uh, they. You know, they're, they're not an unruly mob by any stretch. Uh, they're being very peacefully uh, lighting up at the officer's uh, d direction and uh, being escorted onto 
uh, dark shuttle buses. All right, Pete, hey, we really appreciate you taking the time. Pete Friedman with CentralTrack.com uh, uh, sharing some information with us from the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge tonight. Chris?